Good morning, good morning. From Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with your Morning Market Stir for Wednesday, January the 6th. Stocks did steady yesterday, had a close relatively unchanged after a bit of a sell-off and somewhat of a comeback. 2012 was the S&P close up three points, a quarter percent gain to lead the major markets. Dow futures were relatively unchanged as well, 17,081 down four. The Nasdaq was the loser, down a quarter percent, 44.84 down 20 on the session. The dollar continued to move higher, 53 ticks, 99.50 was a close, pressing on that 100 level, pushing that euro currency below 108, 107.63 was a close, down 83. Treasury saw a bit of unwinding after the volatility that we saw in the stock market on Monday. We were down 18 yesterday, 153.22 in the 30-year bonds. Crude oil closed at $36, down 80 cents. The low was 35.70, pressing on those multi-year lows down at 35.35 that we want to keep an eye on down below. And lastly, gold was up $3 at 10.78, a somewhat muted range there, 10.82 high, 10.72 was the uh, low on the session. So after the steadiness of the markets yesterday, where do things stand on this Wednesday morning? Well, we're backing down once again, testing those lows from Monday in the stock indexes, down 30 in the E-mini S&P at 1982, down 255 in the Dow Future 16,826, and down 76 at 4407 in the uh, NASDAQ 100. Let's remember, it was only last week that we were looking at the all-time highs or very close to it in the Tech 100 sector. The dollar index steady, 99.40 right now, down 7, 107.75 in the euro currency, up 12. Treasuries are seeing a bit of buying, up 1 in 16.30 seconds at 155.06. So the price higher in treasuries, pushing yields lower, 2.95% in the 30-year and 2.19% in the 10-year note. Crude oil made new lows at $35, and we're standing at $35.10 right now, down 90 cents, taking out that old low of a couple weeks ago at $35.35. And lastly, gold getting a bit of a bounce at 10.85, up seven dollars. So to wrap up this current action, with two hours ago before the cash stock market opened, weakness in the stock indexes, down 30 in S&P, down 250 in the Dow, and down 75 in the Nasdaq 100. I will see you early Thursday morning for your morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.